State lawmakers are continuing to push to put stricter regulations on the sales of electronic cigarettes. This to mainly keep the products out of the hands of minors. New Sen's Hunter Petroviak has more. For Grant Ford, making the sale of electronic cigarettes and e-liquids is a very common thing. He says more and more people are turning to the product to get their nicotine fix. Ford says their store has been proactive in making changes. It definitely helps with compliance. Um, and you know that complying with the law is a very, very important thing. Also, it, like, it gets all the impediments out of the way. Indiana lawmakers are pushing a bill banning sales to minors, also establishing safety standards like childproof and tamper-proof lids, something Ford says could hurt the way some do business. I don't know how much other stores sell to people that aren't 18, but if they do any percentage, they're going to lose that whole percentage and say it's 5%. That's 5%. That's, that can be a lot of money. Libby Ray with Vigo County Tobacco Prevention and Cessation says these changes can help with all of the unknowns about the products. There are so many manufacturers right now and so many varieties of e-liquid available, for example, that um, without some kind of regulation, you don't necessarily know what you're getting. Ray also says these changes could help save lives and keep the products out of the wrong hands. A lot of people do take that view that, you know, these devices are in their minds um, less harmful than other forms of tobacco. We try to take the approach that tobacco is tobacco. But it's still a product benefiting smoke shops. Like I tell some people joking around, it's kind of the future of smoking. It's an involving situation no matter what side you're on. In Terre Haute with photojournalist David Essex, Hunter Petroviak, News 10. The United States Food and Drug Administration is proposing regulations that would include warning labels and ingredients on e-cigarette products.